Hey everyone, it's Tim from Lennox Farm Specialty and Heirloom Livestock. Thanks for joining us again today. As always, you can contact us online at www.lennoxfarms.com. Give us a call or send us an email. Uh, just let us know if you have questions. We'll make a video for you. Uh, so I want to get started immediately here. Keep this as short and sweet as possible. We've been getting a lot of questions about hoof rot lately. It does tend to happen, especially in the colder weather environments. Um, some bacteria, some anaerobic bacteria is allowed to get in between the hoof. Um, and it starts to get a little funky, a little nasty down in there. Generally speaking, the uh, foot is cloven like this and the bacteria tends to get in between the pads. I'm going to show you an up close uh, picture of that here in just a second. So first and foremost, how do we know when the animal has hoof rot? Well, you're going to notice some lameness perhaps. You're going to notice a little bit of limping. Uh, you may not be able to determine what's causing the limping. And as you take a look at the hoof, I'm going to show you what you want to look for. Uh, the second thing that you're going to notice when you actually get close up to the hoof is the smell. Uh, hoof rot has a very uh, funky kind of a, uh, for those of you that don't work in medical career fields, uh, would probably not notice the smell. It's somewhat gangrenous uh, in nature. So come on over here. I'm going to show you what I was looking at. This Suffolk ewe here, she's about two years old. She was starting to limp just ever so slightly on her foot. I want to be extra cautious. Now I can tell by looking at the foot that she's been clipped recently and I know that, um, but she's still got a little bit of lameness to her. If I gently pull the hoof apart and you look right back in this area, you're going to notice some rawness uh, in there and can, I think you can see that fairly well. And so it's funky, it kind of smells, and it's a little raw. So the first thing I'm going to do is determine what kind of uh, treatment I'm going to do. So it's going to be a two-part treatment. I'm going to give her an intramuscular injection of a medication called Draxin. Draxin is super expensive. You can get it from your veterinarian. It's probably one of the only broad-spectrum antibiotics that actually works. Um, I'm going to give her a dose of Draxin. Roughly, you give one ml or one cc per 80 pounds of body weight in her case she's going to get two mls uh, so that's going to be part one of the treatment part two of the treatment is going to be the direct treatment of of the uh, foot rod itself uh, i like to use a two-part treatment the first part is going to be a zinc oxide treatment you can buy this in at tractor supply this product here they don't pay me to show you this but this is what tends to work so i'm going to douse the foot with that first that zinc oxide helps to kill the bacteria and it helps to um, harden the hoof in that area as well. She's not going to like it. It's going to burn a little bit and that's to be expected. That's why, as you can see, i got a couple strong helpers that are with me today. Um, I should also be wearing gloves to protect myself, uh, which I'm not. So uh, do as I uh, say, not as I do. The second part that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually apply a packing uh, and that packing is going to be in the form of copper sulfate. If you come over here and look, I've got some fluff here with some copper sulfate crystals that are actually in there. And that copper sulfate is going to help uh, to be a kind of a more long acting so I don't have to come out here and treat her every day. So I've got some cotton here. I'm going to uh, get it wet. Just going to utilize my, I'm utilizing my water trough here. Uh, be cautious not to get the copper sulfate actually in the water trough. I'm going to get it wet and I'm going to use this as a packing. Then I'm going to wrap it up with Coban. So I'm going to grab some Coban, grab my scissors, come over here, and I'm going to pack this in and wrap it up. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be beautiful. Um, all of this is purchasable at CVS. Uh, the copper sulfate, you can purchase it online. People use it to uh, help control algae and ponds and things like that. So I want to get it. I want to get it as down in there as I can, but not so much down in there that it's going to drive her completely bananas. And then I start to wrap it up. I'm just using this initial piece to kind of get it started. And then I'll take my roll and kind of finish it up from here. And she'll be perfectly fine with this. She can walk with this, um, hang out with her buddies, do all her normal stuff that she would normally do with this. And over a course of a few days, it'll naturally wear down and she won't even think much of it. And 
And as she steps on this, it'll actually cause it to pack further up in there. You gotta watch that back foot because she will, she will get you. But that is it. So there is the foot treatment. Uh, she's gonna favor it for a few days um, and it'll slowly but surely get better. I'll wrap it up after a little period of time and check on it again. But the key is catch it early. If they're limping and you don't know why, uh, make sure to check it out. Last thing I'm gonna do is give her her IM injection. Uh, I'm not a fan of giving IM injections at all. I'm really not a fan of giving IM injections in the neck. I know some of you have been taught to give your IM injections in the neck. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick her, push my direction in, pull out, and I'm done. So that's it. That's hoof rod in a nutshell. Uh, if you get really bad cases where the hoof's starting to delaminate, issues like that, I want you to contact your veterinarian that's gonna be beyond your scope of practice and it's gonna be too hard for you to keep track of. Keep the feet trimmed, keep them dry. Uh, that's about the best that you can do for them. We're gonna quarantine this ewe uh, away from the flock to help prevent spread for probably about uh, two weeks. Uh, and then we'll reevaluate and take it from there. Again, thanks for watching. If you have questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to leave them. And uh, also consider giving us a thumbs up. Thanks a bunch and we'll see you next time.